There are so many different types of stylist and they all do slightly different things. You have personal styling, which is about working one-on-one -on -one with a client, helping to build their wardrobe, build their confidence. You have editorial styling, which is based m mostly in magazines and um, fashion film. That's where you're telling a story or you're putting together lots of different creative references. And then you have more commercial styling where you're working on lookbooks, campaigns, on the catwalk. It's when you're working with a brand trying to sell the product. There are lots of different types of stylists who incorporate all these different skills. Someone like Mel Ottenberg, he's an editorial stylist working for magazines like V. He's also a pop star stylist, he works with Rihanna. The reason why Rihanna has such a creative, you know, an editorial look is because she works with a creative editorial stylist. You have people like Rachel Zoe, who specialises on the red carpet, and she's transformed that red carpet celebrity styling into a global business, branching out into design and product development. For me, styling isn't just about matching a pair of shoes to the right handbag. You're there with the photographer from the beginning, building the story, doing the research, doing the casting, you know, putting together the team, you know, really taking creative control and acting as a creative director. That for me is what a stylist does. Editorial is one of these words that I think is used a lot and often misunderstood. I run a couple of different courses with the word editorial in the title and I always get students coming along who don't fully know what this word means. So editorial, we can use it in two different ways. Editorial as a noun simply means any original content created by a magazine. That could be a feature, journalism, it could be a portrait of a pop star, taken by the magazine. It could be a 20-page fashion story. Editorial simply means any original content commissioned, created by a magazine. When we use the word editorial to describe something, sometimes we're using it to mean something a little less commercial. So for instance, ID magazine is more editorial than Grazia magazine, even though both of them feature lots of editorial content. I'm sure you've seen the film The Devil Wears Prada and there's that scene where Anne Hathaway's character gets taken down to the magic fashion basement where you've got lines of shoes and rails of clothes and everything is pristine and she gets to pick and choose what she wants and the next day she comes into work in head to toe Newsies and Chanel. This doesn't exist. That film has given so many people the wrong idea about what it means to be a stylist. Working as a stylist, the clothing comes to you you shoot it and then it goes on to the next shoot. You might get a pair of shoes in the morning that have to be couriered to Paris the, in the afternoon. As a stylist, it's not about free clothes. It's not about shopping. It's about being an image maker. When I was a teenager, it was The Face, but now that magazine doesn't exist anymore. I think it's 032C. 